Howdy everyone, I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower, and welcome to Undertale, the Genocide Route. So we are going to go ahead and see if I can get things working here. There we go. Who shall we call ourselves today? We could do Kara, but I think that does something a little bit different here. Call them kid or child. Let's go with child, actually. That kind of does sound fun. Let's see. C H I L D. Child. We're going to go ahead and call it child. Let's just see what happens when we do that. We don't get anything weird, do we? Yes. Sweet. Okay. So. This time around, we do everything the violent way. There will be no mercy, there will be no being kind. Oh, and look at it, it's myself. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess a little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Well. Let's see what exactly he's saying here. See that heart? This is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you got a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? My love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I really don't want any love whatsoever. Down here, love is shared through little white Friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. No, thank you. Hey, buddy. You missed them. Let's try again, okay? I don't think so. I know your game. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. The friendliness pellets. <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Yes, I did. Die! <laughs> well. Oh, look who's coming here to save me. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I'm not going to be afraid. You should be afraid. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. <laughs> Little does she know what she is in store for. So, thus begins our genocide run. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the preparation of the ruins. The operation. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, adjusted. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, she wants me to do it. Well, I'm gonna be a rebel and go for that one. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. What do you think I am? Some kind of idiot? Fine, I guess I'll do that then. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. 
I don't know about talking. I'm not a good talker. Instead, let's murder it. <laughs> you won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Uh, the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Well, we might want to hurt lots of people. <laughs> All right. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Maybe if I could beat you to it. Oh. Frog, it attacks you. Oh. Well, what if I attack it first? You won. You earned 10 XP and 20 gold. Your love increased. Wonder if she knows anything yet. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Hello there, Daniel the Cat. How are you today? I hope you are having a terrible day because everyone will die here. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, my throat is a little bit rough there. Let's see. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I don't know. I think they're perfectly dangerous. You have done excellently thus far, my child. Yes, everything I have met except for you has died. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I am coming after you. You better watch out. Carrier's coming to get ya. <laughs> Well, let's see what we can find here. Is there, wonder if there's anything up here. Anything? Anything? No? Fine. What about in here? No? I actually do wonder if anything is hidden in this room, but we should just keep going. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Oh, Daniel the cat. You will not die because you're a cat? Well, cats do have nine lives. Just means I have to try a little bit harder. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It'd be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. It'd be good, alright? Well then, first thing we must do is take some candy. Yes. Take a piece of candy and take some more. You took more candy. How disgusting. Take one? Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Take one. Take one more. You took too many too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Alright, time to grind for some monsters. Here, monsters. Ah, oh, there we go. Wimsum approaches meekly. Boom, Wimsum. See ya. <laughs> Two XP and gold. Back and forth we go, back and forth we go. So how is everyone doing in the chat? Oh, I guess I'll check with you in a second. Froggit hopped close. Boom. Croak, croak. This Froggit, Froggit, do you think you could truly stand up to me? <laughs> Didn't think so. Three XP and two gold. So how is everyone doing? Let's see. You're currently killing Asgore. Ah, that sounds like a great time, Unicorn Puff. Let's see. Because, because. Why do we Twitch in gaming YouTube? I like doing it both at the same time. Okay, Wimsum. Goodbye. Earned 2 XP and 2 gold. You're daring to not expect anything insulting about your sexuality. Oh, love, Metaton. Your sexuality is all you. Say okay with me. Everyone dies at some point, anyways. Rooms and approaches. Boom. Okay, but oh, there we go. 
Nobody came. Well, we're done. <laughs> oh man, the music changes dramatically. Nobody came. <laughs> well then, looks like we're ready now to go on forward. Hello, this is Toriel. Yes, Toriel. How are you doing today? For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Ring! Uh, hello, this is Toriel again. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I hate it. I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Yes. Yes, I would indeed. Right, right. Uh, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Well then. Oh. Yes. Let's go forward. Ring. Hello. You do not have any allergies, do you? To say, you know, butterscotch or something? Let's see. Huh? Why am I asking? Uh, no reason. No, no reason at all. And push this one, and... You better go ahead and do what I say if you want to live. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm, so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Too bad I can't, like, do something about this rock. <laughs> hmm, you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, not like that. Mm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, you better stay there, too, or- Hey, what did I just tell you? Hmm? You want me to stay there? Yes, I just said that. You're giving me a real workout. Well then. Okay, let's go forward now. Azriel hates butterscotch, doesn't he? Well, yes, he kind of does. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Determination. Okay, so let's save. And let's see here. What do you think would stop you from genociding? I don't know what could really stop me. Something that I guess has a really scary killing power. Nobody came. Do my sca- Unfortunately, this face rig doesn't really allow me to do the scary face. Ring? Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something that you really like. You will want to leave room for it in your pockets. Okay. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still. I should not have left you for so long. Was it responsible to try to surprise you like this? Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. <laughs> she doesn't like, you don't notice all the blood that I'm probably covered in from all the monsters I've killed. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go back into here now. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Do you now? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. I just, the whole time, I'm just kind of like wondering how she hasn't noticed anything about how suddenly the ruins is just so quiet now. Uh, let's see here. Hello there, little one. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Sure, I guess. Sweet dreams. Alrighty. So let's go and nap and move things forward a little bit here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Alrighty. So let's go. Boom, boom. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. 
There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. And I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps it isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um... How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Alright. I have to do something. Stay here. I don't think so. <laughs> Alright. So then. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I don't think so, Goat Mama. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Well, if I leave the ruins, it's not them who are going to kill me. <laughs> Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Well, I don't think so. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Very well then. Toriel blocks the way. Whoa! Y you really hate me that much? Now I see who I was protecting. Keeping you here. Not you. But them. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Okay. Going forward. Ken and Will get the weed killer. Well, this is the genocide route. Of course, we're going to have to do all of this sort of stuff. Nope, Mama does not get a pass. No one gets a pass. Well, now. Hello, me. How are you doing? <laughs> You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, your child. Right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. But let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Okay, let's see. That's my line. Let it turn your foot, my brother. I have a bad temp. Flowey called you a child. Yes. Well, that was because of the name I assigned it. <laughs> okay! So I took the rocks from there, got this ledge thingy here to come up, and then I took the rocks from here, and now I'm placing it over here. Got that? No. Good. Then we're all set. No. Good. Now let's see if this works. It didn't work! Sans, what did you do? No. Quit saying no to everything I say! No. Ah! 
Okay, okay. I think I finally have it. Yeah, that's what you said the last 27 times. Yes.